eight. This a men's quarterfinal match, and it should be a most competitive one. Joining us for expert commentary, four-time United States Open champion, three-time world champion, Steve Mizrak. And Steve, this one, I guess, very much up for grabs. Very tough matchup, Barry. Efren uh, from the Philippines, he came over. He started winning uh, immediately when he came over. Keith, a great player from California, flamboyant, uh, sometimes very wild, beat me in the tournament. Uh, anything can happen. Two personalities, I think, that couldn't be more diametric opposites. Well, Efren is cool, calm, and collective. Keith talks to the crowd. He, he's liable to do anything. Well, you mentioned that Efron Reyes came over here from the Philippines in 1985. He immediately won a tournament. He won in Houston. And he has gained the respect of his peers. And I guess that is the optimum award in any sport. Here's Jim Rempe, one of the top players on Efron Reyes. Efron Reyes, there's a funny character. I travel all over the world, and I played in every, every place. And the, I never thought that another country can come over here and compete with the Americans. But, the, well, him and another guy called Perica, but we're talking about Efron now. I mean, they're great players. Uh, what I don't like about Efren's game is his stroke, though. I mean, he's, he's very colorful, and he makes a lot of magic shots, they say. They call him the magician, as a matter of fact. But uh, he, he, his stroke, he's got too many movements with his arms. I mean, he, you watch his stroke, he's, his hand and everything, and everything's too many motions. The less motions you have in this game, the better off you are, the more solid you are, and the more consistent. For, for somebody that's solid, they can take off the game for a while and come back and play good fast. Efren would have to practice a lot, a lot of pull to play good pull, but he does play good. So we mentioned very opposite personalities, and uh, Reyes, of course, the steady player, and McCready, a guy who's going to be out there. The question, of course, is can McCready out -psych Reyes? McCready likes the equipment. Uh, he's very calm with this equipment. He, uh, Reyes came over from the Philippines and uh, wet tables, and it'll hurt uh, uh, Reyes a little bit more on this equipment, and it'll boost McCready's game up a little bit. All right, let's take a look at Steve's scorecard now, and we will size up this match for you in every facet of the game. First of all, on the break. Well, I like McCready on the break. He's hitting them hard. He's making balls, and, and I give the edge to McCready there. What about on cue ball? Uh, cue ball control, I like Reyes. Uh, he can maneuver that ball almost in any place he wants on the table. Experience factor, pretty even, I would think. Well, I again, let me give the edge to McCready because uh, he has been here a long time. Efren uh, came over a couple of years ago, and he, he hasn't played all that much. And pressure and strategy, two of the most important aspects of the game. But since Efren Reyes came over here, uh, he's been in the finals a lot. I like him in the pressure situation, and I like him in the strategy. Uh, he's a great player. Basically, Reyes, an imperturbable player. The question is, can McGreedy perturb him? We'll be back to find out right after this. Barry Tompkins with Steve Mizrak. We are back at Caesars Palace. This is the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championships. The World Championships, if you will, of Nine Ball. And today, a most interesting quarterfinal match. Keith McCready versus Efron Reyes. They've met each other five times. Reyes leading three games, three matches to two. This is Caesars Palace. And Steve, let's talk about the rules. Very simple. The object of the game is to pocket the nine ball. Very, very simple. Shoot the balls in numerical order, beginning with the one. But if a player misses, the game is over when the nine ball is pocketed. He, you know, and if you foul, ball gets any place on the table. Cue ball in hand. And the first player to win nine games, of course, wins the match. The prize money in this one, $15,000 for first place, $7,000 to the runner-up. And, of course, it descends on down to $1,000 for the ninth through 16th place finishers. $50,000 in all. Prize money, Steve, starting to edge up in this sport. Getting bigger. I think next year we're going to see a couple of tournaments with 100,000. Lag for the break. I think Keith has won the lag here. Froze it almost to the rail. Cannot do much better than no, that. No, you can't. You know, last week, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, Efren beat Keith out in California. Thumb so, rail, that one didn't have a big beat. We, we've got a tough match right here. Keith is full of uh, confidence. Yeah, interesting mix of characters here. Reyes, they call him the magician. He's only been in this country from the Philippines since 1985. Know, very quiet, very methodical kind of player. He'll talk, but know, usually he'll talk to himself. Meanwhile, he, he's as quiet as he wants to be. He, he makes believe he doesn't understand too much English, but if you get up talking to him, and uh, he knows what it's, what it's all about. Keith McCready, very gregarious, 30 years old, Anaheim, California. Very fast, very loose. Notice the cue ball on the left-hand side again. He did not like that break. The little 
dance, but it was to no avail. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, it's very simple. He's got to make the one, okay? Go right into this pocket right here. But he's got no place to make the two. We don't know what's going to happen here. How is he going to play position? Okay. He didn't draw it back enough. But what he's going to try to do here, he's going to try to try to make a billiard. He's going to shoot the cue ball into the two and try to make the cue ball into the nine and try to pocket the nine in here and leave the cue ball behind this cluster if he doesn't make the nine. Perfect shot. So Perfect. Reyes sits and McCready steps up. We'll take another look. Okay, watch the cue ball into the two, into the nine. Watch where the two goes. Right up the table. Cue ball behind the cluster of balls. Keith is safe. Now he's got to play a long rail shot, come back down, try to hit the two. Perfect. Okay. Saw the cue ball go in the side pocket there. Unlucky. Unlucky. So Reyes now will have an opportunity to place the ball. Shooting the nine. Combination. And he will just try he's to get this try to one end the over nine. with. End it real quick right here. Nine ball goes in, game is over. And that's what Reyes will try to do. Okay, and I feel confident he's going to do it, Barry. He did. Okay. So Efren Reyes wins the first game by sinking the nine ball. We'll take another look, Steve. Okay, he, he shot the three ball off the side rail into the nine. Very difficult. I didn't think he was going to do that. Perfect shot. Reyes, 1-0. He'll break. Everybody's breaking from the left-hand side. I, I don't understand that. Keith didn't make a ball the first time he broke. When Earl moved to the left-hand side, he didn't break any. So Reyes tries it. He got a good kiss off the one ball. Left the cue ball in the middle of the table, and you've emphasized many times that's what you want to do on the break. Right, but he got unlucky. Notice the two and the one frozen together. He has no pocket. Okay, he has no pocket for the one ball. The one ball's right here. Where is he going to make it? He can't make it here or there. So he's got no pocket. He got a little unlucky there. He's going to have to try to play safe somehow. Hide that Absolutely cue ball, perfect. and he does. Okay, Keith has no shot again. He has no way to hit the one. And what he's going to have to try to do is come off the rail, try to hit the one that way. Oh, and oh, he did. A he brilliant did. What a shot. shot. Brilliant shot. Absolutely fantastic. That's what Keith needs to spur him on. Let's take another look at that one. Spectacular Off shot. Off the side rail, into the one. Perfect. It's the breaks of the game right there. We could have a very exciting match right here. Well, these two have played virtually dead even throughout their careers, as we mentioned. Reyes, 3-2 to two ahead, lifetime. And he did win a match a couple of weeks ago in the Southern California Invitational Tournament. long way. He's got to draw his cue ball back. Keith is very loose. Very loose. He's an interesting guy. We talked about him being from Anaheim, California, but really he's a man from nowhere. He's the original <laughs> carpetbagger. <laughs> Lives no place. In the wintertime, you'll find him in Florida. I know I've seen him a few times. He looks like he's firing. He's a get on with it kind of player. One apiece. Well, we expected a close game, and that is exactly what we're getting as Keith McCready wins the second game. We're tied at one. And
to Caesars Palace with more right after this. Barry Tompkins, Steve Mizrak, you look at the scoreboard in this quarterfinal match. Keith McCready having just broken and finally getting a ball to drop on the oh, break. Oh, really? Talking to the ball. Get going. Everything up at one end of the table here. But McCready leads three games to one. He's looking to bank now. He's looking to, he's looking to make anything. I don't think he can bank this, though. Safe. I'll tell you what he tried to do. He tried to position the cue ball behind these balls right here. Okay, so he tried to position the cue ball so he couldn't hit this two, but he left Efren an easy clear shot to hit the two. That's the first time that McCready has even left the door slightly ajar for Efren Reyes. And you don't want to leave the door ajar for this man. When they say he's got every shot, and he makes every shot look easy. Agree, Steve? Yes, he does. I've played him several times. I think I've beaten him once. There is a popular school of thinking that says that he is the best pure player in the game today, despite the fact that Earl Strickland is considered the number one player. Well, you, you can take the top four. You can take Strickland, Reyes... Hall and Siegel, put them in a hat, pick whichever one you want. Looks like the match is going to get closer. Reyes just came to the United States from the Philippines three years ago. So his rise has been meteoric. <coughs> He's got to go back. Uh, from here he goes, uh, I think, up to Reno. And he, then he's got to go back to Manila. Notice the position, perfect position here. Notice he's moving a little faster, too. So this match going to get a little bit closer here. Right now, McCready leads it 3-1. to one. And it is now 3-2 to two as Efron Reyes took advantage of the little opening that Keith McCready left him. I think he said to himself he's going to try to get the job done quick. We'll take another look at the last three shots by Reyes. There's one. Would you believe that uh, Reyes is playing with a cue stick that costs $15? Is that right? $15 cue. That'll set some of the manufacturers back. Well, it's a uh, Philippine. Uh, I think it's made in Taiwan. And this, the game winner. And so Efron Reyes, looking all business, will break from the left side. I guarantee you one thing, uh, Barry. Next rack that Reyes breaks, he will move. And I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Neither player has had a great success. Okay, he didn't make anything. Uh, what he's got to do is shoot the one in the corner and try to leave the cue ball right here and play position for the two in, in the side. Well, the unpredictable Keith McCready one more time. <laughs> better stop predicting this. He's got a little riverboat gambler in him, I think. He'll take some oh. chances. I call the wrong ball. He's got one problem, and that's the six. And if you see the six... It I think it's close to the nine, and there are very few pockets that the six can go in. Great shot. Great shot. I don't know what he's going to do here, Barry. I guess twice, and I guess wrong. <laughs> well, the six ball, which comes after the ball he's shooting at right now, as you mentioned, is laying up in the middle of the table alongside the nine. Does the nine go on this side? No, it doesn't. Six goes in the corner. For a 
perfect. He's loose. I mean, he is absolutely loose. And that's exactly his reputation. Great shot maker. Doesn't get rattled. That's an excellent run here by McCready. And this to take a 4-2 lead. Race to nine, remember. There it is. Keith McCready now leads by two, four games to two in this quarterfinal match in the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championships. We'll be back to Caesars Palace right after this. Las Vegas, Nevada, an adult Disneyland, if you will. We're at Caesars <laughs> Palace watching the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championships. Into the quarterfinals now, Keith McCready against Efren Reyes. And McCready playing very well and in the midst of an outstanding run, four games to two. I'm Barry Tompkins with Steve Mizrak, and now it'll be McCready to break once more. And he goes from the right side this time, so he's been jumping around. Left, right? Right. There's the eight ball that fell. I guarantee he'll break from that side again next time. Okay, he, he has no shot here right here. He has to play safe somehow, uh, which means he has to... Uh, leave uh, Efren with, with no shot on the one. And I really don't know how he's going to do it. I don't well, know if he left himself enough, did he? he? He tried to play safe behind this cluster right here. But what he did do is he left him right over the two ball. And he's got no shot because he has to leave all the way down and drag the cue ball all the way back up. It's out of bounds, Count. That's a foul. No foul. That's a foul. How can you play touch any ball and that's not a foul? That's got to be a foul. I thought that was a foul, Barry. Man, I... McCready and Reyes woofing at each other a little bit. Well, McCready talks a lot. Reyes, ta Reyes mumbles to himself. I saw that graphic just a moment ago, not to interrupt, that he was in the color of money. He played Grady Stevens in the color of money. Was sought out by Martin Scorsese for the part. As I said, he looked like a pool player. Long shot, tough shot. And it looked like the first first mistake that Keith has made right there. Like I said before, he's fast, and loose. Four games to two, and you have an idea that this one has ways to go. Reyes is not getting the best of the rolls right now. Now he's got he's got a little bit of a problem. He's either, he's either got to bank the two into the six. Okay, there we were. That's the problem that he had right there. The six was blocking the pocket and it was against the one of the points. Very difficult shot. Reyes walks away mumbling okay. to himself. Now Keith. Has, has nothing to do but try to make the two ball in this upper corner right here. Well, things are a little bit slow right now, Barry. The door seems a little bit open, though, for Efren Reyes. A few times today that McCready has done that for him. Anybody who plays with a $15 cue, you'd think you could beat, huh? That's right. Great psychological edge, I would think. <laughs> Is that retail $15? Retail. <laughs> retail. Seven in the corner, nine, four, three, McCready, but Reyes is breaking. So 
So Efren Reyes with this shot. Now moves within one game of Keith McCready. Four games to three. It's a race to nine here in the quarterfinals, remember. Coming up to the quarterfinals, we should point out, it was two out of three sets, race to seven. Now, it's one time once. That's that it. changes things. Notice what I said before. Remember, uh, Reyes was breaking from the left side, and now he's moved to the right. And there he is on the right side. There's a look at the scoreboard. Pretty sophisticated scoreboard, isn't it? What do you like here, from here? Truth, I like Reyes. Well, you owe me one dinner already. Okay. So we're gonna go. Yeah, I could. I might be able to eat for free. Uh, There's a chance. You know, for a long time. We're gonna be here for weeks. <laughs> well, he smashed them. But notice one thing. The cue ball winds up in the middle of the table when when they're broken real well. Very good shot. <laughs> Notice he snookered Keith right behind the nine. So now Keith has to hit off the rail here and hope he hits the two. And he did. Made the and nine. Look at here. Knock hey, man, here. Yes. Hey. How do you like it? Look what happened here. Shot of the match. No oh, question. I didn't know that shot. <laughs> notice, notice how happy he is. Right off the rail, into the nine, cube, two ball into the Welcome. rail. Perfect, absolutely perfect. What a way to go. I tell you, when you're sitting, nice when you, well, when you're sitting in the chair, it's not too, not doesn't make you feel too happy. Can I change my bet? Big game right there. You don't think his bullions has a negative effect on Reyes here, do you? Uh, Reyes uh, couldn't care less what he does. Look okay, out. Five Ooh. balls on the break. Five balls. Keith likes this equipment right here. Explain that a little bit more, Steve. Well, the pockets are pretty, pretty big. Uh, it's brand new cloth, uh, playing on a Brunswick table, uh, which is the best tournament table there is, and he likes it. Uh... Reyes, frankly, frankly, looks a little bit dismayed right at the moment. Well, that's the way he looks all the time. <laughs> Dismayed. And there is the sixth game to McCready. He leads it six games to three now. And right now, Keith McCready is on a major league run. Shot of the match, Steve. I don't think there's any question this was it. <laughs> it's an unbelievable shot. And one that you, doesn't come along too often, I'll tell you that. Had to hit the two ball first. Not only did he have a difficult shot just to hit the two ball, but he turned it into a combination. Nine ball went down. It's like a nightmare. And the game no. was McCready. <laughs> No, he, did you hear what he said? It's like a nightmare. That's one of his lines in the movie, uh, The Color of Money. As if nothing. Nothing dropped. Well, it's what they call do or die time. Huh? Reyes has not, has so clearly not had the best of it. Reyes has a very tough shot right now. Very tough. He's got to shoot the cue ball all the way to the one, and he's got to bring the cue ball all the way back to make the two. Six got in the way there. Yes, it did. But he's still at the table, which means he's still in command. He has to think right now of getting out or playing safe. And he can't take any chances right now because he knows if Keith gets back at the table, the whole match could be over. Nice shot. Very nice shot. shot. And he might have gotten a lucky break. 
he got position right here. He hit the three where he's got a nice combination to make the ball in this pocket. Bad shot that time. You don't speak Filipino, do you? No. <laughs> Bad shot. The three ball wound up by the five. I don't know if he can shoot the cue ball in between the three and the five and make the three go here. But he can still play safe. He's going to take a good long look at this. He knows he has to stay at the table. Yeah. There's Keith McCready. He's in the driver's seat right now. No question about that. He played the five. What he did. No. Okay. Okay, That's referee the called the foul. Name. Okay, he said he hit the five Can't first. Help it. That's what the ref called. <laughs> McCready's definitely playing. I don't know. I'll take it, Psychological though. games with Reyes. And I think he has Reyes beat, at least in the middle part of the game. Nine ball. Quick game right now. It's over. Seven games to three. McCready's on a roll. I'll take that little foul. What happened? Uh, Can't help it. Efren slipped up there. He had to protect himself against that, but, but he didn't. I'll take it, though. It wasn't no foul, but uh, it's Georgie Pine. See, there are <laughs> cameras here, you see. He's playing the cameras. He you know, he, he thinks he's in the movies. He never stops. He's he's 100% all the time in motion. Reyes, it looked Reyes bad is looking me. like he may take the other end of the queue to McCready right now. <laughs> it looked bad to me. No! Cue ball went down, I think. Look at this break. I think oh, McCready Lord. gets a little excited. No, no, he's <laughs> keeps it all together. Yeah. Oh man! Uh, the cardinal rule, the cardinal rule here, is you don't want to scratch. Okay, but when he did, that's one thing you just don't want to do. Seven notice, games to three. Notice all the balls he made uh, stayed down except the one which was behind the line. Efren still has a little bit of room, uh, which means that Keith has to win two games yet. But when Keith gets to that eighth game, Efren has to be so careful. Looks like the match is going to tighten up a little bit. Every time it looks like Reyes is going to get himself right back into the middle of the match, McCready makes one of those shots that are equal parts skill and luck. We call those Harrigans. So Reyes needs this to get within three games. The three games not insurmountable in this competition. Seven games to four now. Hey, Effort can run the whole set out. Keep talking about great, great players right here. If he gets the break working, he could tie up the match, run the set out, anything can happen. You remember what I said before about the, the guy who gets off first? Okay, in this match, McCready got off first. So rest to break from the right side. Nothing goes. Okay, very, very Go unlucky. <laughs> McCready said, "Go sit down." No, he said, "Push out." He's pushing the oh, ball. Oh, is that out. what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear him. I mean, he put the ball in the spot where either Reyes has to hit it. Okay, he either has to hit the ball and play safe. What it looks like he's going to do is play safe, drag the cue ball down, maybe behind here. This is a push out now. Reyes doesn't have to play this shot. He can give it back to McCready, but right. he chooses to play it. See what Reyes is doing? He's taking chances. Well, do you not have to when you're down three games? Well, 
slow and methodical is his name of the game, and he's not doing that. He, he's out of his game plan. It's not going to matter anyway. He didn't want to do that. Uh, he, left, he left Keith pretty safe. Uh, Keith is going to try to play him safe. Keith, oh, right there. Keith is... Not the gap! Ooh. Keith is on a roll. He, <laughs> but he left a little gap. He left a little gap right here, okay? So he can slide that cue ball right down here, make the one, and try to bring the cue ball all the way back uh, for the two. Tough shot. A must shot. Big shot. Uh, he can't make it, I don't think. No, he couldn't make it. He could only see part of the ball. But now he made a perfect shot. What he did is he snookered Keith right behind this ball because he's trying to hit the one. Keith is going to try to shoot over the ball. Okay, he did. Well, I hit it. He jumped right over the ball. Oh. And he hit it. I know. I ain't never going to get this. He hit it, and it looked like he got lucky. Efren's just shaking his head. Keith McCready definitely a television personality no question about it <laughs> he's got to go to the bottom rail spin it with a lot of left hand english and hope he makes it again a big moment here for Efren reyes in this match fine shot good shot, shot. <laughs> that's an interesting match <laughs> we're in a do or die situation here for Efren. Efren must win every game he's at the table He's in perfect spot, perfect position. Draw over for the four. I think everyone's gonna win another game, Barry. Positive he's, a, he's a master of position, this guy. When he's rolling, that cue ball is right on the string. He knows exactly where it's going at all times. Notice he's all business. Completely two different personalities here. Absolutely. Right now he's got McCready quieted down. Figuratively and literally. Nine ball is left to make it 7-5. There it is. And Efren Reyes is now within two. It's seven games to five. McCready leading Reyes first to nine. The semifinals. Back. I like the breaker right now. Breaker is very important here. Uh, he'll have a win without Keith ever getting back to the table again. Keith McCready can only wait while Efren Reyes breaks tied at seven. He has come all the way back, won three in a row, and it's anybody's guess now, but Reyes in the driver's seat. Reyes to break. Right side again. He's had good success doing this, and he's on a roll. Nothing. Nothing. Tough. Nothing. You got saved. Well, Keith has a little problem. All these balls right here, he has to shoot into the one. He could play safe. He could play the one in the corner. We don't know what he's going to do. Played safe. Good shot. Come on now, right there. That's an excellent shot. He played an absolute perfect shot. And where he put the position for the one, he put the position for the one so he could make the nine combination in here if Reyes doesn't hit the one. Uh-oh. Uh, the 
One went oh. down, the cue ball went down. And now the impetus switches once more That's it. to McCready. Now McCready's a favorite. If McCready gets out here, he's a heavy favorite. That's no good. Look at Real this. bad. Oh. And he well, told maybe. you everything you need to know. But now he says, well, maybe I got a chance. Well, he can still make it. Missed it. Oh, a lot of ebb and flow in this match. Just when it looks like somebody's really about to take charge, you it know, changes. You know, he got a little bit lucky here. And uh, he's got these balls right here in the way of shooting at this three ball. And Reyes has to come off the side rail, try to kick this ball in. And missed it. Oh, and missed it doubly. Well... Pretty better get out. That's all I can tell you. It doesn't get out now after two shots at the table. Now he's got to get position on the five. Or the four. <laughs> five. Keith McCready is now big favorite, Barry. Everything's set up for him now. Perfect position here. Now it's Reyes who must wait. Eight ball, and now the nine ball to take an eight seven lead and have the break. And there it is. So McCready, after losing four in a row, now comes back to make it 8-7. He'll break when we... One time on the crunch. Right after this. I like... What do you think? I like your chances. <laughs> McCready to break now. Uh, my leader is breaking ahead 8-7. He's got to control the cue. Very important here. And he did. Notice where the cue ball wound up. Absolutely perfect. One ball wide open. Keith McCready to win. <laughs> he thought he missed that. I can't stand to roll them balls. Well, he's got to find a pocket for the four. Looks pretty easy. There's the two. Well, he made it. He made it a little bit difficult. He's got two. Th he's got two things he can do here: shoot the four into the seven, or shoot the four straight up the rail, pocket it here. And he goes a long Just way and didn't he get it. it. But look what happened. Left him half safe. That guy got me with the camera over there. Boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> you heard McCready say that our cameraman <sighs> well, got him. When you miss, you like to blame it on everything. Reyes better make this. They made the seven inside. Great shot. Great shot. And got perfect to work. Now, the impetus swings back to you. Great match. What do I... hanging his head. He had a chance to win. 
think the crowd is rooting for Reyes. That's interesting because McCready really plays to the crowd. Yeah. Oh, did not leave himself. That was a pretty. Bad, that was a bad shot. What's this? That was a very bad shot. Well, to say that he needs this is to make a great understatement. Yes. He made it. Yeah. Excellent shot. He didn't make it easy on himself. No, he did. He did. We are tied at eight. He's got a little smile on his face now. Look at him. But he's still all business. And he's in command. He's got the break. Suddenly, Keith <coughs> is uh, very quiet. When he's at the table, when he's in command, he's... he's very braggadocio, very cocky. But when he's uh, behind or it's close, he silences himself. Well, you might have to consider this the shot of the match so far. Well, he's got it here. Now Efren has to control his white ball. Oh, baby. Got it. Okay. Keith gets one more shot at it. And all the balls are wide open now. Well, I got one more chance, my little man. Wide open. The only problem I see, the only problem I see, is this three ball right here. He's got no pocket here. He might have a pocket here, but I'm not sure. So he has to play position off this two to get to the three. So first things first, he makes the one. Now. The only problem is that three, like I mentioned before. If he gets on the three, he should win. He doesn't know which way to go. Goes a long way. Has it? Perfect shot. Absolutely perfect. Well, I kind of like... Uh, You're looking good here. McCready right now. Got away with that one. If he hit that seven, wound up behind the seven, he'd want to jump off a bridge. Remember, the winner of this game wins the match, first to nine. Well, could be a little better. Straight in. But when you're going to the point, when you're going to the side, anything can happen. Somebody in the crowd had a camera shutter flick. Did that before. Knocked it in the hole. Watch the watch the eight ball here. Okay, I think it's McCready. Well, you're two and zero against me. I'll tell you that. Just don't get straight. Look out here. Look out. Hurry. Ah, uh, he's got a problem. He has got a very severe problem. He's dead straight in. He's got to draw it back. Oh, he hit it perfect. He hit it after. How do you like shooting this ball left-handed for your money? <laughs> and he goes left-handed, but he is ambidextrous, remember? That's he's me. It's over. And Keith McCready has guts out a win over Efren Reyes. Well played match on both parts, and McCready was there at the end. We'll be back right after this. We're back at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championships. Keith McCready through to the semifinals. Wasn't easy. Nine games to eight. Steve Mizrak, I don't think there's any question. Biggest shot of the game came in the eighth game, and it was McCready who was snookered. Not only did he make a shot, he made the nine ball. Ever made a perfect safety, and Keith hit it off the side rail, hit the two, and uh, unbelievable shot he made the nine. I think it's worth mentioning one more time, too. Two pretty good players in this match. Two great players. Not pretty good, great players. Keith, never a doubt about this one. You had it all weighed, didn't you? Uh, well, he's a tough player, uh, but you can't worry about your opponent. Uh, you have to get in there and uh, block him off and just 
give it your best shot. Win, man, lose, draw. Man thing was when you did get the chance, you made the most of it. Yeah, I did. I dogged a five ball late in the match, which was sort of a heartbreaker. I'd have closed it out of seven, but, you know, I guess the gods were on my side this time. We made the point, a lot of ebb and flow in this match. It looked for a time like you had it going, then it looked for a time like he had it going. It just happened to be that you had it going at the end. I had it I had it going from the start, and he had it going at the end, and he just fell one short. <laughs> it's interesting. You really seem to play to the audience here, play to the television.